Hello everyone. Today we are looking at Rival Stars Horse Racing Desktop Edition. Um, I, this game was recommended, suggested I play it. Um, I've been playing it for two days now and yes, I am addicted to this game. There are things I like and don't like about it, um, but I'm going to start a new save and tell you the things that I like and don't like and maybe some things not to do and to do um, as we play along. But it is a, it is a nice little game. Uh, the graphics on the horses, I don't quite like how their back legs look, and I'm not a fan of the manes and tails, but other than that, the patterns and the colors and all this other stuff, they look really good. Um, so there are a lot of things I like about it, and uh, let's dive in and see what we go. Beauty's suspicion is off to a good start. Shining cherub right behind. At the 500 marker, it's Beauty's suspicion. Shining cherub in second place, looking to make it from Tricky Dazzler. Ocean's Wind in 11th place. Destiny's Dream. Beauty's suspicion, holding the lead. Nocturnal Rider pushing past horses. Showy Revenge putting on the pressure. Follow so you get to Destiny participate in this. Hungry horse dictating the pace. You can move them left Nocturnal or right. You're using your space bar to tap to so run to the finish line. And it's a photo finish. Look at that beautiful horse with a badger face. Once again, in the front spot, as expected, the favor taking the Finishing on a high note. That's what the paper said of your grandfather's final victory. And it was well deserved. But I was there. <laughs> I knew the reason he did it was for the thrill, the sport, and especially family. Your father was already comfortable in his own saddle and making a name for himself. But when your proud grandfather strolled from the stage, leaving him alone in the sun, oh, he took off like an untamed wind. grandfather took it the hardest for all his achievements in the end he considered himself a failure his granddad died too I still believe in your family's legacy despite everything if you could if you would be persuaded please come back I believe together we can return this homestead to the height of its glory days. Yours faithfully, Francis Kwan. All right, Francis, we're in. You're here. I'm glad you answered my letter. With you at the helm, I believe we can work this place back to its former glory. We need, what we need is a fresh start. It's your ranch now. You should pick its new name, new name and new logo. Okay, so we're going to randomize. Sparkling stables, no? peaceful trail. Uh, I love how it, whatever comes up, state puts goes immediately right on the sign. Maple Hills, eh. Trotting garden. <laughs> Old Oak Hills, Mustang Brook. How about Mustang Hills? I'm going to do Mustang Hills. Not that we're running Mustangs, we're doing thoroughbreds. Um, so you can randomize it here. These are all the symbols that you can choose from. There's lots of fancy ones like that, which you can't really see with that color. You can do a racing saddle, you can do a little pharma, kind of like that, or that. You can do cute, something cute like that, something simple like that. That's as far as it goes. I kind of like this, the silhouette of the horse. And then down here are all the different colors that you can put your sign.
Oh, that's kind of pretty. All right, so we're going to do that. Actually, let's not do Mustang Hills. Turquoise Heights. Let's just do Turquoise Heights. And then we enter our name. Miss DV. No periods allowed, so we're just going to do that. You can choose between male and female jockeys. The jockeys are essentially you. Um, so we're going to do that. You can choose your silks. These are all the patterns that you can uh, chain, that you can use. So we're going to go with that. These are all the colors that you can have your silks. I kind of want blue and pink, but we're going to go with the black and pink. And then you can change your helmet as well. Uh, I don't really want the stars, so we're just going to go like that. Um, is there no pink and black? There's pink and white, but we really don't have pink and white. There's, well, that makes it difficult. The helmets in this game, this annoys me, never match, are, are very hard to match. I mean, I suppose we could do that if there was a way to get, like, the black, but there's not. It's so bizarre. So you're limited on the helmet design, but it's like, all right, whatever. You can always change it later. Turquoise Heights. It already feels like a very new beginning. Let's head to the stables to meet a very special someone. So you got to click on the stables. Do you remember your grandfather's old champion horse, Destiny's Dream? I was able to track down some of her descendants. So you go into Horse Creator. There's more descendants that I could have imagined. Describe your per perfect horse and I'm sure we'll find a match. Go ahead, tell me what your dream horse looks like. So I'm gonna randomize. So you can go like really close for the front legs, the back legs, you can go to the head, you can do all the patterns. But I'm going to do randomized because sometimes they think of stuff I haven't. Ooh, a classic black gray with powdered dapples. Ooh, a double dilution of champagne. Rich black. And you can be here forever doing this. I really like their character creation. But again, I'm not a fond of the main forelock and tail uh, graphics. They, they look icky. And the back legs when the horse rears up are kind of eh. The riding and the running and the jumping looks good, but when, when the horse rears up and then comes back down, the back legs kind of look a little wonky. But other than that, it's pretty good. Oops, right the bias. Classic brown with a cream dilation. Ew, classic brown gray. So we're gonna go with this. So we're gonna get this horse. Now we only have 20,000. Ultra, ult, ultimatum. Oh, no, no. Randomized. Twisted Acrobat. Cupcakes Cobble. Pony Party. Adjustable Raindrop. Oh my god. Lighthouse Invoice. Pride's Joy. Chemical Cipher. Flesh Order. Parsnips Noon. These names are crazy. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna go confetti. I'm a fan of like the one word names. So we're just gonna do confetti. And this happens every time you get a new horse. Look at that, with the little pink nose. This is the same lineage your grandfather worked with all those years ago. This black star with the gold outer ring shows your current legacy horse. The bond between you and your legacy horse will see you through the toughest challenge. Okay, these are the stats. So when you click on this right here, oh, sorry, we need to complete our goal first. Collect. Oh my goodness. When my kids decided this life wasn't for them, I wondered what the future would hold for Turquoise Heights. I can't thank you enough for coming back. I know it can't have been easy. I have a good feeling about you and Confetti. I hope you do too. Because these are rewards. Uh, you and Confetti are a real pair. There's a race at the local track that I'd be happy to have you. Don't worry about winning. Get to know each other first. Okay, so let's race because this green arrow will not let you do anything else. 
So Three Oaks, you won't see any big names around here today, but this is where your father had his first start, first race long ago. Great things from humble beginnings, as they say. So you just click the enter. This is the only one available to us, so we're gonna click enter. Now, before a race, it's a good idea to view your horse's preferences. So your, our horse prefers a distance of 900 meters, firm, track surface, and middle position in the pack. And then the surface is 900 in medium, so she has a fair chance. Yes, I did that already. <laughs> oh my goodness. This tutorial. Track surface. Confetti has a middle pack position preference, meaning she likes to be amongst the pack. Let's go back and race. So you just hit the back button and you're back to the race screen. And then you can select the horse. And then for you pay your fee and you have a chance uh, to start the race. So this is our pole position. And this is our first racetrack. Why that airplane is flying around, I have no clue. For the start at I would think Oaks. it would Punters confuse the horses. There's our horse, right there on the on the far right. Away they go. Confetti off to a magnificent start. Bookies are nervous. Princess Amnesia is showing early speed. Oh wow, they're really use the sprint segment to reach your preferred position. Wait for the flash, then sprint again for the perfect rhythm. And you can see the space bars is going up, down, up down up. So don't spam the space car like you would with just a slow rhythmic. Of course you're using your whole sprint bar up. I can't reach that bar without using all of my energy up so I'm just gonna let it sit. We may not win this race. <laughs> so when that green bar down there highlights that means our sprint bar is recharging and being refilled faster but you can't always get to it. So don't stress about it. So we're currently in third, if you look at the, the upper left corner. So our bar is almost full. This is the, the final stretch. We're gonna bolt ahead, hopefully. Crocodile Cargo. Oh my goodness, what a name. So there's our experience, our, the gold that we had, these are our rewards. So then we go back. <laughs> see the back legs? You can't see them because I'm in the way, but oh my, they just look kind of... Eh. Okay, so these are our goals. Let's see we, what we earned. Okay, so we earned three basic grain. The stands were a buzz. No one expected to see Turquoise Heights back on the track and on a descent descendant of destiny's dream no less i knew i wasn't imagining it you and confetti have something special a spark of greatness your grandfather used to say everyone starts somewhere well this is where you started now let's get back to turquoise heights there's a young trainer there who wants to meet you hey i'm tj i saw you out at three oaks i'm a trainer there i reached out to francis because you and Confetti blew me away. I want to see if we'd make a good team, maybe. Okay, that works with me. Training horses requires items. Luckily, we received one from the last race. Let's do it. So we're going to train. So this is the training. Every time you train, Confetti gets stronger. Let's train the other stats. So you can see that we already trained speed, and now it's locked by um, our lack of XP. So then we can train. Sprint. And you can see here, we're gonna go from 49 to 52 to when we train acceleration. Now acceleration is what we're doing when we're hitting the space bar at the end, trying to meet the, the finish line. Okay, so we did that. And then we're gonna go back to our goal because we trained all this and we're gonna get all this. And that's the basics of training. What do you think? Any horse can have potential, but they need training to become champions. The next time you race confetti, you'll notice the difference. And if it's all right, I'd like to stick around and keep helping with your horses. I've got a feeling you're going places. 
And as long as we do all the quests, we are. And we're now, yay! Prestige increased to two. Hot damn. Okay, so now we've got all this. Good day. I'm Sophie. Nice to meet you. Nice to finally meet you. Rather than buying horses, I'm keen to get our own team going. And I need Ramanara to do the Australian accent because I cannot do one to save my life. So they want us to add a foal style, buy a horse, and then breed a horse. Oh, buy a horse. Okay, Sophie. So we're going to build the full stall for a thousand. I'm going to do here for our goals. Uh, wait, it said that we made it. Okay, so we need to clean up our facilities, which is upgrade the, the things. We need to run 1,400 meters over multiple races, and we need to collect our income from the homestead. So you're green, but your racing is in your blood. You and Turquoise Heights could be the next could be more than just the next big thing in racing. We can branch out into cross country too. I've already reached out to an old friend to get us ready. Kay Swiftwater. Kay Swiftwater. You won't see much of me yet. I'll be getting this place ready for a cross, cross country course. Looking forward to seeing if you're as good as Francis says. Okay, finally, the arrival of two new horse breeds to Rival Stars Horse Racing. Saddle up and get your hands on these beautiful new additions, the Cell Francais and the Arabian and our old timer the thoroughbred. Each breed brings its own unique strength. The Cell Francais is a beauty of a breed. Originally hailing from France, they're majestic, patient creatures. If you want to see where they really shine, their skill is at clearing jump. Their skill at clearing jumps is the stuff of champions. So for this breed, you'll get a plus five uh, jump and plus two acceleration bonus breed for the for the uh, stats. And they're best suited for the steeplechase, Arabians for the cross country. Um, the Arabian is a breed characterized by its elegance and spirit. Originally from the Arab Peninsula, their poise and core strengths make them ideal competitors in cross country. Their endurance and athleticism are remarkable. And you get a plus five sprint and a plus two agility for a breed bonus. And then the thoroughbred, which is what we start with, is the most famous breed in the professional horse racing. Striking, dashing silhouettes with their delicate heads and broad chests. These quick learners are fast, patient, and reliable. So you get a plus five acceleration and plus two sprint and they're best suited for flat. But like I said, you can take any of these three breeds and use them for whatever race you want. You don't have to because they're, those are the three races. We've got steeplechase, cross country, and flat races in this game. And you can mix it up just because the breed might be suited for that race. If you prefer racing that and that's your favorite breed, use it, it's fine. Okay, so we've got to collect our payouts. We've got three out of 10, so we're $1,800. Oh, and we got a gift. So we're gonna go home, get our goals, and then collect this. It's a decent start, but we'll soon need to fund some substantial expansions. Remember to keep collecting ink from the homestead to help pay for everything that needs to be done. Now your income, even if you log off, your income will keep accumulating. So if you're logged off for 10 hours or 18 hours or three days, all that is gonna still accumulate. Um, but the rest of the game doesn't progress without you, but that will keep accumulating. So that's one way to make some money, maybe. Okay. All right, so we need to buy a horse stall. So it's gonna be, we can have 27 horse stalls and this one is gonna cost us 3,000. Oh look, we can buy a new horse stall to expand our family of horses. So we've got confetti and then we've got over here. Um, so this is where you would add a horse stall let me see if I can move this. There we go. You can buy it, use this to buy a horse stall. You can use this to manage your horses and move them around. You can use this to customize uh, different tack. But look at these. These are all in game money. There's no, there's no real game money, but it's expensive. So I would recommend not doing it just of yet um, until you have more than like 20K. So I, I wouldn't even worry about that. So we're going to go back. And then this, when you get some skills, this is, um, you can add skills to each different horse for different things. Um, but we're not there yet. So we're gonna go do this. So we've got a new goal to upgrade the home, uh, household, homestead income and the storehouse. Okay, so income, we're going to upgrade to tier two. The place is looking great, much better. We've cleaned up all the house and got rid of all those ugly vines. And then this is the storehouse. So 
So we're going to upgrade that. And this will keep upgrading throughout the thing. So we finally fixed the leak in the storehouse roof that's been bugging me for years. Okay, so we're going to go back to our goals. So this, the goals is basically your quest line. So we upgraded that so we can collect all these. It's so good to get some love back into the old homestead. I wish your mother was here to see it, getting a new lease on life, but she's not interested in the racing game anymore. Well, after her husband died, I imagine she wouldn't be. So now all we have to do is breed a horse. So we go to here. Usually you just go to uh, full stall and then click on breed. Um, so right here, if you have more than one mare, which is the female horse, you would click on this and it would tell you all the different um, all the different horses you have and you could choose between them. And then the same thing over here. So this is a level one uh, thoroughbred stallion. So we can go here and we have these two to choose from. We have an Arabian, Animated Duke, and Harbor Rumble who is a thoroughbred. I'm going to try for the Arabian who is actually smaller than the thoroughbred. So what you can't see below my head is there are possible outcomes of this breeding. You can get a grade one or a grade two. Now grade one has a 40% chance, grade two you have a 60% chance, and I think just the way the game is set up they're going to give you that 60, that, that grade two just to spur you on a little bit. Um, so you have a 50-50 possible outcome of getting an Arabian or a thoroughbred, and um, so let's go ahead and breed. This is $6,050 to breed, and it'll ask you if you're sure. Now this thing, so our mare is pregnant. She's she's got one minute and fifty four seconds to breed. Usually this this is your first free one, but any other time this will cost money right here. Don't do it. Don't do just let it go race another horse or do something else. Come back in ten minutes if you have to go do a chore or something like that. But because this one is free, I'm going to go ahead and click it, and you get this lovely little intro. And there's the little baby horse. It's so cute. And it's a level two. Oh, with terrible stats. But it's so cute. It's a little mare, a little filly. Stats are still terrible. Now, you can care for the foal, which we haven't unlocked yet. Or uh, that takes prestige three. You can just skip to mare where it just grows up automatically. I love that feature. Don't care about it. Oh my god. Abandoned anchovy. No, that horse is not having that name. You can either put in your custom name by going here. Or just clicking in this or you can just randomize this splash spies midnight android tectonic turbo arch knife what is with these <laughs> catastrophic chutney pale devil tree tyrant obvious owner choice cosmos equine stretch chuckle crocker <laughs> crocus crocus Central Daylight, Roberts, this is like totally randomized. False Lighthouse, Fluffy Lunch. We're just going to call her Ballerina. I prefer one name, horse names, not like the two. So we're just going to call her Ballerina. And the colors can change from when they're a young horse to an adult. Like if you get a gray, it can definitely change to a, a darker uh, color. Check out this horse's star grade, which is a two. Higher grade horses can be trained to more advanced levels. Okay, so she is, her st stats still kind of suck, but I don't know what photo mode is. Oh, okay, so photo mode, you can do a single horse. So you can, you can change. Okay, so you can do a rearing. You can change the background. That's cool. Photos are saved to your systems. So we've done this. We've done all this, so we get this. Confetti's now got a legacy of her own, so to speak. <laughs> One horse doesn't a legacy make, but you'll get there. Nothing quite like raising a horse up from a foal. This place could use some cleaning up, though, and goodness knows, Francis should not be mucking out at his age. I think we've got some work to do. Okay, so then get the word out. Upgrade a foal stall to Tier 2. That'll increase the level of horse that you can breed. Yep. 
So the quests aren't like complicated really. Um, they can be a little challenging in the racing if your horse isn't trained up. I love being around horses again. It's been a while since I've ridden. I fell off a few few years ago and nearly broke my back. Still, I didn't want to give him up completely, you know? Yeah, I know how that is. Okay, so we've got to run 1,400 meters over multiple races and then upgrade all of this. Uh, we're going to try and upgrade. So if you click on speed and then you go over here to upgrade, it's only 640 coins. So that's good. That'll get that up so you can level up your because we we can't really upgrade everybody else because they need to earn more xp which means more racing so another thing i want to tell you about this market thing where it says new the market's great you can buy horses here like there's a cell francais mayor for seven thousand um and there's this thoroughbred mayor so you can see their stats um, there's also stuff over here um, that you can buy. Uh, this is usually stuff that you need, but I wouldn't, uh, like you can see up here, this is 14,000 for, for one. I wouldn't buy that. But the other stuff that you can hear, it says three in stock, there's 400 coins or 400 coins. If you, it'll tell you how many you have. Like I have three of, three of this one and two of this one, so I'm not gonna buy it. But every once in a while, you know, if you see it and it's cheap, go ahead and buy it. This thing right here, don't click this. Please don't click this because you see it costs a thousand dollars and every time you use it the price goes up and you will run out of money really fast because i did that i ended up with two thousand dollars or two hundred dollars and i was like oh crap my homestead payment saved me but don't don't click this to get new stock in the market so just ignore the market unless you really need it so i'm going to race and ride so we can still only do flat racing uh, we can unlock this one which i'm not going to go into just yet uh, because we still need this one and we need to finish out these four uh, other three races. Don't forget to tap the green bar. We're here at the and then try and move over as far as you can. So you can look behind you to hit Q on keyboard and mouse and you can see the, the pack behind you. Whoa! Oh! Also numbered signs down the track that will tell you like five, four, three, two, how how far you are close or how close you are to the um, finish line. But you can also look up in the upper left hand corner, see so underneath first that number, that's how far you have to go. So now we're in the final stretch. We can still look behind us. Then we're gonna use up all our just because they can sometimes overpass you or overtake you and you don't know it. Okay. So we did a good job. So we can unlock this one now. Each race is successively a little bit harder. They are pushing us all the way over to the left, and I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. We might not make this race, <laughs> but we are sprint charging, so we'll, we'll see. As long as we're on that green bar and we can refill our sprint bar, we're good. All the way over. Ha -ha. Maybe. <laughs> There's somebody behind us. Okay, we're halfway through. Oh my goodness. So it's a race between this and us and this other horse here. But he's only by a nose. Oh, oh, we're ahead, we're ahead, we're in first. And we're in the final stretch. Come on, girl, come on, come on. Nope, oh, that hurt. Yay! So then training, you go back and it's like, okay, do we have enough speed? Now we can train confetti. We can't train ballerina because she hasn't raced yet. 
but we can train up uh, confetti. Then we're going to go here and meet our goals. So we did the 1400, so we get all this. Impressive, your father would have been so proud. I think the competition's afraid of us. Keep it up. And we're now unlocked Prestige 3. Yes! New goals, new customizations. You can now bet on your race. There's full care, and then you have a free room thing. So you'll have all these new quests that you can, uh, you just use your mouse and left click and scroll up. Um, so that is where we're going to leave it for right now. But this is a really cool game. Um, it's been out for about three, four years now, 2020. So it's, it's a little dated. Uh, the graphics aren't the best in some of the things, but I really kind of like it. I've really taken to it. I really love the steeplechase and the cross country is kind of fun too. Um, but uh, yeah, that's my first look at it. And uh, if you like this, let me know if you want me to keep playing this game or not. And I will see you next time. Everybody have a lovely day or evening, wherever you are, and be kind to yourself, okay? Bye now.